Hey there, Libra. It's Angie. Today we have the Angel's Wisdom deck all over the place. Chariot's kicking out. Pretty strong there. That one like went right over the top of my left wrist. I'm just like, Phew. So the Chariot's kicking out for you, Libra. This has to do with rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities, determination, willpower, and sometimes it's public recognition. This is focused will. When forces are going this way, it's focusing them and harnessing them to move forward. This has to do with momentum. Sometimes it actually even has to do with literal vehicles and moving forward in cars. Um, we'll see how this resonates. The chariot, this is a time that you're wanting to charge ahead and move forward. Do you have things focused yet? Let's see, let's see what else is going on for you currently. We'll take a look also at the week ahead and then we'll see if we've got some advice to give you. Okay, right now you have the Wise Counselor and the Moon Energy. So the Wise Counselor is talking very much about going for inner wisdom. This sometimes is the Hierophant. Um, this is going to traditional spiritual um, practices that generally tune you in, that help you get to a higher understanding of something. So this is unity with a spiritually minded community, asking the divine for help and trusting the answers that will come. Compare this with traditional methods and new ideas and see what works best for you. This sometimes is a new class, a new learning or a new lesson. This is expanding that knowledge base, okay? Then you have the moon in reverse. So it might be slightly diminished. It might be saying pay close attention to this. So the moon, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry, let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. So maybe you're struggling to do that a little bit. All right, let's see what's going on. We're going to look in the chrysalis deck, see what's happening for you. I love the chrysalis deck because it's got the butterfly imagery and then also kind of a fairy tale type of imagery going on. And I think it's very interesting to see the depiction in a different way. That's too many guys. Ace of Stones was upright though, FYI. So that's new beginnings in the tangible realm. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, guys, 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 guys. So we have the Three of Mirrors. This is the Three of Cups celebration. This is community. They're showing the lion and the lamb together. Peaceful time, harmonious time, a time to really examine how things are operating and to enjoy the company of others very much. And then the Phoenix in reverse, judgment. In reverse, this phoenix has not risen from the ashes yet. Pay attention. It is time for you to exercise discernment, not just harsh judgment. It's time for you to rise to your call of your true self. Not what you think others think you should be, not what um, might be kind of sort of good, but it's you getting into your own beautiful self, having a second shot at something, having all this color and all this wonderfulness about yourself and beautifulness that can be displayed and understanding that calling understanding who that full person is this is um rising to the higher occasion resurrection type of energy okay all right now we're going to look and see a little bit more so if you're being asked to rise up so to speak to get into your best self and being celebrated for doing so this might not be as theoretical as you would think this is calling you towards momentum and moving forward. Maybe you've been a little off course. Moon energy again, in reverse again. We are going to pay attention to that. Moon, sun, and seven of spirals. Okay, guys. All right. The moon energy again. This is words and language and not paying attention to intuition. The language is below. The north star is above. This might be being in your head too much and not listening to your spiritual intuition. This might be reflecting on things of the past more than energy that leads forward. So judging your past rather than rising into this new section and time. You have the sun energy here. Sun energy is very, very good. The sun is like everything is growing, everything is developing under it. It's a time for gratitude, understanding blessings. And it also has to do with um, abundance around you, sometimes very much strongly related to the home front. And then the seven of spirals. This is defensiveness. This isn't clarity. This is defensiveness. The bear is still staying holed up in the cave, even though obviously it's awake. It's time to go out and see what's going on and get clear about what the need is, right? So the bear needs to figure this out. But you've got to get out of the defensive mode, overcome some fears, get in tune 
with your spirit with what those needs are to grow and move forward. It might not be what you think. If there's anything else in the next week to 10 days coming up, it feels like there's one more. There certainly is. Ten of mirrors. Okay, this is the Ten of Cups. And again, a bird. This bird is coming out. And the Ten of Cups is a happy time. It's like very fulfilling. It's wishes fulfilled and very, very rewarding. All these different emotional gifts, blessings, and reflections, all these different aspects of self that are coming in and creating this beautiful whole, this great picture and um, this harmony that's going to be coming towards you. There's a more full aspect of yourself that you're not seeing. In order to be the phoenix rising from the ashes, you need to allow yourself to move beyond the upside down moon fears, right? Okay. All right, we're going to look at the underlying energy here. And I think we're going to continue in this vein of um, folklore, etc. This is the Enchanted Forest deck, this one. And we're going to take a peek in here and see what's going on. So they have it set up also as a little bit differently. Whoa. Ooh. Now this is the least colorful card in that entire deck. This is the Weaver of Challenges. This is Queen of Swords being too... Harsh, she's known for being harsh and misjudged often because she's trying to be practical, but she comes across as cold. She comes across as demanding. And instead of enjoying her full radiance and color that is being so abundant here, she's stuck in this thinking rigidness that doesn't help. She can be somebody that's wise, that offers good counsel. This, this part of your energy, this underlying influence is there for wisdom's sake. Not for the sake of ruling over you with rigidness. The bird also here, 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 indicating a shift in perspective is necessary. What else is underlying here for you? Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we got? Libra, Libra, Libra. This one's sticking out. This one. Ooh, okay. The black shook in the huntsman. This is the, the wolf that hunts you down. This is what's nipping at your heels. This is what's threatening. It's the end of something. It's the death and transformation and the rebirth that has to happen. And you're holding on to some kind of energy that's fighting against you. That's kind of consuming you. It's not letting you be in your own best self. It's nipping at your heels. It's this demanding, chasing, hunting down, striving, pushing, striving, striving type of energy that's pushing just too damn hard, all right? Then you have the Huntsman. <sighs> okay. The Huntsman is asking um, us to acknowledge what's there that's being offered as far as life goes. This is 11. This is usually justice and strength. In the Snow White tale, you have the Huntsman that goes after her and trying to, being asked to kill her, basically, and bring her heart back to the Queen. And it's asking, when do you show justice? When do you show mercy? It's been upside down. You've been unduly harsh on yourself. Really, really, really. There's a strength that comes with um, judgment and a scales that need balance. You're Libra. You get this. Whatever's nipping at your heels and chasing you down, that's the wrong course. You've been on the wrong course. There's a path that needs to open up to you. And it's by facing your fear, by letting go of something, some old perhaps identity, some old thing that you've held on to for a long time that that really isn't you in your glory. It, it's not you in your fullest anyway. You have all this technicolor, full color flight that you want to do, this freedom, this second opportunity for freedom, and yet you're still somehow chained to this reversal. All right. What else do you need to know to help Libra for the next week to 10 days? Ooh. The White Heart and the Ace of Coins. <laughs> okay, the Ace of Coins. I love this one. The Ace of Coins is you got to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince, right? But it's also this opportunity, this materialistic opportunity and talent that is new. It's not established and old and blah, blah. This is new. New even to you. Surprising. The girl goes to the pond, the princess goes to the pond. She doesn't expect to see that the frog has this golden ball or this ring, this gift to offer. She's not expecting that. She, the girl that's run around 
doesn't know what's happening, but here's this offering. Usually when you see rings, you're also seeing um, circular things, cycles, life events, commitments, higher self kind of calling, a little bit of magic going on in the 3D. So something that you're going to manifest that's new, rising up again in the new, okay? Yeah, I, do, I don't know how to say that any any greater to you than, than that. Then you have, boom, the white heart. This is the pure stag. Stags are seen as um, connected to the divine um, because of the antlers that are pointing heavenwards. This is the white one. This is like the rare and pure and really strong stag and ready to go and take the leap of faith, go into the forest to learn something, new cycles. This is the fool cart, typically. This is where you're taking that leap of faith and trusting this new energy, this new boon to you. So this is a card of second chances. This is a card of hope rising to your higher self in a way that you have not done before, in a brand new way. So you're shaking this off and you're allowing, instead of harsh judgment and whatever, you're allowing for mercy to come in. You're allowing for logic to be there, but you're also allowing color to come in. Um, not just reason and thinking on logic and details. Creativity needs to just boost, right? Here you have the sun calling you to it. So that's what I've got for you right now. Let me know how this um, resonates with you. It seems like there are two energies at work that you need to focus in on and create the will to move forward in a new direction, okay? All right, that's what I've got for you. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Bye-bye.